So over the course of the last couple of weeks, Niji Sanji has been receiving a ton of backlash from people upset with them for a lot of things that have been going on. I'm sure you're all aware about the Slentotsky situation with her talking about management, privating one of her new songs that she covered, and her being really upset about that. It was privated on Christmas, and a lot of money was put into that video, and it's all just pretty much gone to waste because they decided to private it and still have not unprivated that video. Slen was then hospitalized after that incident and then to let everyone know that she was doing okay and was out of the hospital on December 31st. And this is the final tweet we have had from Slyn. We have not heard anything from her on this account whatsoever. She has not streamed on YouTube. She has not made any new tweets. She's just been gone. There's been radio silence. We haven't heard anything from her and people are speculating that she might end up graduating and are really worried about her. And of course, as I said, this has caused a lot of backlash against Nichi Sanji. Another thing that has caused a ton of backlash for the company was the graduation of Pomo Rainpuff. If you don't know, the graduation is happening on the 20th of January, and we talked about her reasonings and stuff in a previous video, so if you want to check that out, you can do so. But this has caused some backlash for the company, people saying that this is deserved for them, it's good that Pomo is leaving, a lot of people are actually happy that she's leaving, and a ton of people are upset. No matter how you look at it, Pomo leaving Niji Sanji is going to be a massive blow for them. Once she's gone, it's going to probably be really, really bad for them. But with both of these things going on recently, there have been a ton of people attacking the company, attacking some of the other libraries inside of the company, and it's just gotten pretty bad. So bad, in fact, that Anna Alouette of Niji Sanji English had to tweet out, please respect everybody in Niji Sanji slash EN. Respect my senpais and my kohais. They're all working hard in their own ways, and they're all a part of Niji, whether you watch them or not. You can celebrate or grieve without putting others down. Practice being mindful of your words. Thank you. And this tweet has sparked a bit of discourse amongst fans of Niji Sanji and people that dislike Niji Sanji. We got a reply from Finana Rigu that said that I respect Ena Alouette. A fan of Ena that said, Amen. If you have nothing positive to say, don't say it at all, especially not to people who are in need of some peace and kindness in their moments of pain. Another person said, Everybody should be respected. Even if you don't watch somebody, they are just as talented and not lesser. What I like to say is, Would your Oshi be happy with what you say? Be the person your Oshi wants to remember. Another person said the Niji slash Niji EN members have worked their booties off to get where they are today, so just be nice to them. Y'all who are being crappy should be grateful that they're even here, just saying. And there are a ton more nice replies, but there are also people replying things like this saying respect is earned, not given as well, just saying. Someone else said I have no respect for your CEO nor your managers, they haven't earned it. Another person now bringing up Selin saying except the dragon who has been stealth suspended, right? And and again, this is one of the speculations many people have. People are speculating that Selin was suspended by Niji Sanji without an actual suspension notice being made. I personally don't believe that's the case. I think Selin is just taking time away from Twitter and social media and trying to maybe get this video unprivated. And then there are tons more in the quote retweet saying again, nah, respect is earned, not given. Some people bring up Zion saying, I especially respect her the most, showing an image of Zion Lanza, who was terminated from Niji Sanji. With someone else adding on, like you respected Zion when she wrote all the problems she had with the agency. Another person said, yet another time a talent with the absolute worst representation was pushed for crisis management. And yeah, a lot of people believe that this isn't even Inna saying this. Some people think that this is the management taking over Nana's account and tweeting this out pretending to be Inna. Some people believe this has happened many times in the past and I don't personally blame them because it probably has but in this case I don't think Inna's account was taken over by anyone in management. I think Inna is just genuinely tweeting this out. Because like I said over the last couple of weeks especially there has been a ton of hate for Niji Sanji. People going into the livers chats, people going into their comments, people going into the replies on Twitter, adding them, quote retweeting them. It's been an awful last couple of weeks for Niji Sanji and the talent inside of Niji Sanji. But another response says your black company lost all respect after you go. Another person said since others are saying it I will too. Enna I see the comments under this thread and I understand they love and appreciate you but the fact is your company sucks. Respect is earned though I don't mind giving it but whatever is going on needs to be called out period. Sorry love. And then another person said your circle is literally why Niji Ian is so f***ing 
awful. So yeah, a lot of those quote retweets ended up receiving backlash from fans of Niji Sanji calling them out and attacking them, and people are just going back and forth with one another about whether Niji Sanji deserves respect or if they don't deserve respect. And a lot of them are saying that they don't respect the management, and I completely understand that. Inna is asking you to respect her senpais and kohais, the other livers of Niji Sanji. I understand she's saying please respect everybody in Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji Ian, but I believe she's mostly talking about the livers, and I 100% agree with her. They deserve respect, and even if you don't like them, don't attack them for no reason at all. They don't deserve it. They're just streamers doing their own thing. I understand people are upset with someone like Millie Parfait for saying things in the past about liking the company, which if you actually haven't seen that clip, here is the context to that. Here is the clip of her talking about this. Oh my god, I search, I type in Niji Sanji, and the first thing... I don't know what the fuck are people searching, but the first thing that shows up is Niji Sanji Black Company. <sighs> All right, let me address this right now, okay? Let me address this right now. It's making me pissed off, okay? All right, let's look for a definition of a black company, everybody. Okay, let me search it on my phone right now. What is a black company? Let me debunk this, okay? Black company. Characteristics of a black company. Number one, long working hours. Okay? Long working hours is not a thing. Okay? It is up to the liver if they want to work on hours. Okay? It is up to us. It is the liver's decision if they want to stream for two hours, one hour. I could literally end the stream right now. I could start streaming in five minutes and end it. Okay? So it is up for the livers to work for long hours. Okay? Number two. High turnover rate. It is also up to the liver if they want to quit quit or not. Okay. Um, how many livers are here? Uh, 32 livers. How many people graduated out of the... Wait, how many? 30... I don't know how many are we. 30... Is it 32? I can't count, guys. I can't count. So there's like 30... 200? The whole Niji liver has like 200 plus things. How many did... Um, how many did graduate in the end? Just... Two, okay? Two? Two this year, which is not bad. Out of 36, this is not bad. Low salary. Okay. Um, Niji is based out of like... <clears throat> Niji is based out of like super chats and stuff, you know? So, plus on top of the super chats, you also get like opportunities like voice packs and also like merch. And it's also like something... So, like in a way, if we participate on the voice pack, it really depends on the live if they want to participate and stuff. But we also get money on voice packs and stuff or merch as well and like... It really depends on like the super chat as well so it, i can't really say if it's low salary or not but even then even then even if i take a break for one month i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be comfortable okay and then number four little to no vacation or paid leave we could go on breaks anytime we want okay we could go on breaks i could literally like hey money son can i go on break right now it's okay it is also it is up our decision to go on breaks or not, okay? I could go on a one month break. I could go on a three months break. I could go on like a six months break. And they could just say yes, okay? Short recruitment process. As you guys know, there is multi step. There's multi steps in getting into Niji. So it's not a, it's not a recruit. It's not a short recruitment process, okay? It's not a short one. Even on my, uh, even when I got in, it took me like three audition process. Okay, so don't call our company like in a negative way. It pisses me off. Thank you. I rest my case. Oh my god, what are you guys searching? What are these people searching? People just like to believe what they think they want to believe. Honestly. I don't even know what's happening in the company. I the company takes really good care of me, okay? And I'm not even one of the highest earners. Jesus. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of like... I'm so, so tired of like... People like... Saying things. Because they are... Oh my god. I got tri sorry guys, I got triggered. I was just trying to find birthdays. There are some people that like just believe whatever people say without like seeing what's actually happening. Some people just like to think, look at the negative things in life and not like the positive ones. It, what do you got? It rails my jimmies. <laughs> uh, it rails me, it rails me up.
and I completely understand why she would love the company. They gave her this opportunity, so just because other people in the company aren't happy doesn't mean she's not happy with where she's at. I don't believe she deserves to be attacked for something like that. I know people were also attacking Millie for what she said to Celine whenever her video was privated. Please just refrain from attacking the talents, going into their chats, and just being an asshole. If you want to be upset at Niji Sanji without disturbing the talents, you can just quote retweet their tweets or, you know, go in Niji Sanji's replies or use their contact form and contact them directly through email. They apparently actually read those pretty often, so your best bet to get in contact with Niji Sanji for any complaints you have is to just email their their contact form you can find it on their any color website very easily it just scroll down it's i believe it's at the very bottom and it just says contact or at the bottom of like every graduation notice there is a contact form right here www.anycolor.co.jp slash contact that's where you can contact niji sanji for any concerns that you have questions or complaints if you want to complain to them but yeah again i understand being upset with niji sanji i personally have my grapes with niji sanji i don't like the management personally. I think they make a lot of issues, but I do always say to please respect the talents as a lot of the issues aren't because of them. They're all just doing the best that they can to provide content for people and just put a smile on someone's face. So yeah, that's all for me today, guys. Please just let me know what you all think about that down below and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.